let's let the world know who you two are. Um, my name is Harry Olsen. I'm the singer and guitar player and songwriter, composer, and goes of myself in the band Two Years from the Faroe Islands. And, and this gentleman is no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and he plays bass. No, uh, I am Tadeus Rickman. I'm the drummer for Tear. Rickman. Rickman. I always said Rickman. Yes, it's Rickman. I thought you said Rickman. Just now. Well, Rickman. Yes, I mean, if you pronounce it the English. German or English? Make up your mind. Rickman. Yeah. <laughs> It was funny because prior to this interview, he did not know if he was a permanent member yet. Well, I still don't know. I mean, Gunnar said, yeah, 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 he's a permanent member. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it has not been officially. Shall we discuss so that? This is like a sliding scale from entering the band and being a permanent member. Right. And uh, where I, am I on the scale? I've, I have no clue. I mean, if you ask me, you're pretty, pretty uh, high up. Woo! But. Uh, there's there's um, things to consider. Mm -hmm. Your your behavior on the store. <laughs> no, no, no. It, I, it was unacceptable. This is, this is working very well. You're, you're you're a talented young man and, and a great drummer. I'm and, young, and, uh, and uh, younger than me at least. <laughs> Little rap stallion. True. Um, Old fart. Yeah, I still kick your ass at most uh, <laughs> physical contests. Some, most, some, most. <laughs> Maybe not hiking because. Outside, he, really? wanted, he, wanted, he wanted to uh, go <laughs> yes. mountain hiking. I just went there. You I went did? Up, I went up a whole Pike Street and in, in the forest. You remember the serious hike we did in, in Phoenix? Yes, I did. Who kicked whose ass? Oh, oh, you were crying like a little baby on the last few meters as after, well. After I kicked your yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, barely. You so couldn't you you even the little lift. cry baby kicked your ass. <laughs> you couldn't even lift your knees anymore to kick my ass. Well, let's get a little bit more serious. Before the interview continues, Harry, in the past we have done interviews for metal retardation and they were quite retarded. Would you like to give a disclaimer to anyone or an apology to anyone, or would you like to insult me? I've, I've only seen one interview, and that's the one where we're sitting in the bed, uh, and you're offering us uh, different kinds of, of uh, alcoholic uh, drinks. Um, that was very long, and um, I skipped through parts of it. I thought it was quite boring, and uh, I'm sure it's entertaining for, for uh, supporters of the band, people who want more insight into, I don't know, the shenanigans of, of touring and whatnot. Um, as I haven't seen anything else we've done. I remember dressing up something silly and, and <laughs> saying some lines to which I had absolutely no context. I'm not yeah, sure that's what, Jesus, the daughter of God. I'm not sure what he used it for. I haven't seen it. I'm not sure I want to see it. <laughs> Let me just preface this with saying that a listener of the radio show asked me if I'm going to intervene in the protest against wailing, and I thought if someone's bereaved, then he or she should wail for the dead, but it meant wail as in the sea creature. And you said prior to this interview that it's okay to discuss this, so I'm not trapping you with this question. No, 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 no. I'm, I happily discuss it. Uh... I. I interviewed some of the protesters at the first gig 
and I wanted to ask them ridiculous questions, but I didn't have to insult them. They insulted themselves. <laughs> they seem they to be children who think that animals are Disney characters. They do not understand the brutality of life on Earth. Mm -hmm. But without asking you a question, tell me whatever you need to tell the world about whaling and Harry. Um, well, the first thing is the, the pilot whale is not endangered. We know that as well as we know any facts about the oceans around the Faroes. Uh, they're there by probably the hundreds of thousands, maybe even a million or millions. And it is the most common animal around Faroes. Hunting that is no different than hunting deer here in the US. Um, there, there are strict regulations on how to conduct a whale hunt, and uh, it is free uh, game for anyone who participates. So, of course, it saves us a lot of money for, for a, a bit of work. Um, that's, those are the details I try and get out about the whaling. Um, I've never actually killed a whale myself. I see these signs, well, Twitter equals whale killers. Whale killers. Yeah, and the animals are so and so innocent and have a family structure. Aren't all animals innocent? Don't all mammals have a family structure? Of course. I don't know. It seems a bit. Uh, most of them I've, I've talked to, I think all of them are vegans and they would rather no animals were killed at all. If they succeed in ending the Faroe's whale hunt, they will have stopped 800 whales from being killed a year while uh, 3,000 cows are killed instead. And it's zero progress. Is there a reason why you would eat whale meat when you have a McDonald's? It's uh, healthier and cheaper um, for me. Uh, we, we do not actually have a McDonald's. We have a, we have a, we have a Burger King. One. There's no McDonald's in Paris. Okay, uh, getting to a musical point. I was talking to Gunner about how much I love the album Land and talking about how Tear style has changed. And it's not an insulting question. He, Gunner, told me that he did not like Land as much as he liked, liked Ragnarok. And one of the reasons is the arrangement. He said that you were rushed. And you, Harry, if you can go back in time and re-record Land, would it be exactly the same? Or do you see that the arrangement, as, as Gunner has said, might have been improved? I, I would do it differently, yes. <clears throat> it was rushed, and uh, I had like a standard working method. I applied the same for almost all the songs. Um, some of the song ideas are, are uh, you know, quite good uh, among our best, but uh, it was rushed, and that has been the case for every album since Ragnarok. Ragnarok was not rushed. It's the one album there are, where there are no details that I'd like to change. Um, after, after that, it was just touring and, and album studio touring, and, and um, it was not on our own um, schedule, so we were just running after, after someone else's uh, planning. And it's always it, it was always like this. We were in studio, and there are no lyrics written, and, and songs are only half done. So you know, put them together in the last moment. The the, um, the last album is still okay, and we sort of uh, found a way through through all the, all the chaos and, and uh, the hectic schedule. But for this one that we're making now, we're we're um, I think we've taken the time. Or I've taken the time to do it properly. <laughs> Is Ragnarok too complicated to play live? I don't think so. Um, it may have been right after we, we did it because it was at the um, upper end of our uh, abilities at the time. Uh, so when we went on tour right after that album, we didn't play very many songs from it. Uh, we could do it now. It would take a little bit of backtrack and a bit of practice. I'm sure we could. 
And before I ask the question about changing styles, could you let the viewers know about what's coming with the new album? Well, well, <laughs> it's um, it's a bit more diverse. Gunnar and Teddy have taken a larger part of the songwriting, uh, which is good. And um, so it sort of uh, goes in several directions at the same time, um, stylistically. But Teddy has written songs before, so that would be no surprise to anybody. But Gunnar's uh, writing style is a bit more, um, I don't know, um, not no uh, Iron Maiden meets Deep Purple yeah. kind of thing, and I've still made the vocal arrangements for for the songs, so um, it'll be recognizable as to to anyone. So um, it's hard for me to say how people will react to it. Uh, I like it very much so far. Uh, I think it's excellent, and um, I'm excited to see what people think. <laughs> Prior to this album, I noticed a change in style, and then when I talked to Gunnar again prior to this interview, he let me know a little bit, well, I'll let you talk, because we talked b before this interview why it differed from earlier albums, you know, the catchiness and things like that. Um, uh, the Valsia album? Yeah. Uh, well, we've... we've um thought about, of course, when, when we write songs, that, that uh, if we really want to make a living from this, that uh, it has to be uh, listenable to a, a large audience. And um, we made that, we think we made that consideration with all, all albums except the first and maybe Land also, which is sort of uh, heavy stuff to get through, unless you're a die-hard supporter of the band, I guess. So uh, I think we're more and more <clears throat> we put more and more emphasis on the fact that it should be listenable. Um, but however, since Teddy and Gunnar have wrote, written more songs on this album, there may be some <laughs> lengthy passages. Teddy likes long solos, for example, long uh, guitar passages. And uh, I think what's going to catch a much larger audience is to use vocals as much as possible. The, the, the vocals is what anybody can relate to. Um, Guitar wankery is, is for nerds and, and the musicians. Uh, although it may appeal to a large audi audience if it's really well and catchy done, but, but mostly if you're not a musician or, or a nerd of some kind, that stuff is not going to uh, catch on. So I, I have those things in mind, uh, although I, I do make solos myself, and if you listen to my solo album, there are very, very long solos. So, um, but the solo album was not made for me to make a living of.
usually when I ask a band about opinions of Antifa, it's uh, a no-no question. There and are no no-no questions in this band, man. So I, I believe that free speech should be free or not. Not free only if you abide by certain rules. And I know that Antifa has targeted tier stupidly for some reason but what is your opinion about the whole idea of antifa are they fascists i'm 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 not that familiar with them i don't really know what to do i'm sure there are some fascists in, in antifa if you go far enough left like clint eastwood said you just meet the same idiots coming around from the right so uh, so there's no difference there uh depends on what to do i think you have to um judge those things by on a case-by-case -case basis I know some people who are in Antifa, in Antifa who I think are fine people, and uh, I know Antifa has, does, has done some stuff which is, you know, way off the mark and just uh, causing much more damage than good. Yeah. Uh, so I can't say about the Antifa movement as one, I mean, it's, it's like Black Lives Matter movement, you know, there's everything in it uh, from uh, the center or even right of the center on all to the far left and... Um, and, and um, They've, some of them have been idiots to us, and, and uh, some of them are not. Well, let's just pretend that Tyr is Nazi. If Antifa or an organization like that shuts down your show, it doesn't destroy you, it just makes you go underground. And I think they have a hard time understanding that that's much more dangerous to drive ideas underground where people can't have ideas corrected, they can't debate ideas, where almost telling someone that this is bad makes it cool. Yeah, I think sh speech should be completely free for precisely that reason. To get things out into the open and to discuss them, and so that we know who's crazy. Uh, there are uh, dangerous idiots out there, yes. and if they're not allowed to say, speak their dangerous idiotic uh, ideas, then we won't, don't know who they are. So it's not just their right to speak, it's our right to hear it. It's just as important. Yeah. Um, so, so um, yeah, I'm all for completely free speech. <laughs>
stuff. Hike a bit. So it makes us sweat. Yeah. <laughs> but when we are not on tour, maybe that was the question originally. Yeah, yeah. What do you do personally? You know, do you sit down with a good book? Uh, oh yeah, I I I love to read. Uh, actually, I'm I'm a translator. I teach translation uh, at a university in Budapest, and uh, I just finished the memoirs, the translation into Hungarian. Igan. Igan. <laughs> um, from. Um, musician I might not tell right now but this book is going to be uh, released in a couple of months in Hungary so I'm excited I'm sure we'll see it on your Facebook page hmm? I'm sure we'll see it on your Facebook page oh yes once it's out. I'll I'll post that all over the all right and because the camera might die any second I just thought with some levity the two of you could argue if the shining Stephen Kubrick's movie is better than the book or worse Oh, I love Shining the, 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 by Kubrick. I mean, the, the movie is is great. I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite movies. I even have the, the poster at home in, in my flat. Um, I love the book as well, but I think King's ending is terrible. And Kubrick did right to, to choose his own path based on the basic story provided by King. I think he diverges so far from the book that I don't see why he even used the used the basic story. He might just have made a completely unrelated movie. Um, but back to your other question I didn't answer it properly. I've spent all my free time on this tour recording the last solos and I was just about to record my solo for the last song and I realized I don't have a solo in the last song so I'm finished. You're finished? Woo! <laughs> Alright, do you want to Thanks. provide any contact for people, maybe as a last thing? Any what? Uh, any contact, uh, plug anything, uh, whether it's Facebook or... Yeah. Uh, we're on Facebook. Yeah, we're on Facebook. You know Facebook? F A C U B double O K. Instagram? Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, Tier Official. Yeah, Twitter. Uh, we're on... Um, where are we? Snapchat. Yeah, we're on Snapchat actually, but I don't use that so much. I, I, I don't lately as I should. Want to hire a guy to do this for me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, don't look or ask for Gunnar on the internet because he's not gonna come there. No. Yeah, it's only for friends and close family, or the other way around. And, and tech savvy people, which excludes Gunnar. <laughs> Could the two of you do an air arm wrestle? Just as a final thing, because you said you like to. Yes, we could. Check All right. It. Yeah. All right. Try it. Let's do it. I'm a left like like we need uh, we need uh, in uh, air. No, do it in air. Okay, in air. Yeah. No, 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 no. No what? Keep that straight. <laughs> Keep that straight. <laughs> Try it. Yeah, I'm a lefty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull, man. I want push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. getting better. Thank you very much. <laughs>